Hey everybody, welcome to week 32 of my pregnancy. I'm 33 weeks and two days today. Um, the diet's going great. Um, everything seems to be working out pretty well. Um, it's really not as hard as I thought it would be. I find when I do crave sweets, like the first week was the hardest. And I find when I do crave sweets now, I just have a banana or a piece of fruit or something like that and it totally takes it away. And like I said before, but uh, fruit doesn't seem to do much to my blood sugar, so... It's working out really well. I haven't walked anymore. I want to talk to both my doctors about that, the primary and the <coughs> the OB because of the pain that I get. And I just want to make sure I don't have a problem like walking if they say that it's fine and to kind of push through the pain. If they say that, you know, it's not safe or whatever, then I don't want to do it. So I'm kind of, I'm going to, I meet with them both this week. So I'm going to talk to them about that. Um, the main symptom that I have is that I'm so tired. Like, I don't ever remember being this tired. I don't remember if I was this tired in the first trimester or not, but I cannot get anything done. It's like, thank God my husband is, like, chipping in so much. Um, because normally, like, I do the laundry and dishes and, like, the housework, you know, the day-to-day -day housework. Um, and I just can't, it, everything just tires me out so much. And a perfect example of this um, where I really can compare it to something that I used to do is we went to Home Depot at the end of last week to um, finish getting everything for like Nate's closet and for the room outside of his bedroom we're trying to finish off as well and we were there for probably an hour and a half two hours and it was just so exhausting like I started to get the pain again I mean I was just so stinking beat um, and that's just not I mean Home Depot is like our store where we can go and spend hours and I'm fine and so it's just it was just really a indication that things really have changed it's not in, excuse me not in my mind um as for the nursery things are going so good we worked really hard on it this weekend uh we worked all Saturday into midnight until past midnight um getting everything done uh well not done but getting closer to done and I really expect that his actual room will be done this week. Um, probably actually like tonight or tomorrow night. The closet has been spackled and everything. It just needs to be painted. And my husband will probably be able to do that this week as well. So um, it's really, really coming along. So I expect that by this weekend, his room will be pretty much done with everything that we have right now. And we have everything, you know, that I want to be able to decorate the nursery with. So, um, I've been thinking about when to do the video, you know, to show you guys all the nursery. And I was going to actually do it this week, but I'm going to wait until after my baby shower, which I still have my baby showers in another two weeks. And I'm going to wait till after that because not only am I doing the video for you guys, but my mom can't get up there right now, so I'm doing it for her. And I also want to put a copy of the video in his uh, time capsule that I showed you guys. Um, so I want to make sure that everything is absolutely done. I want to make sure we have everything from the shower so that we can show that as well. So the video will probably be up in like three weeks. So I really hope you guys like it. I think it absolutely turned out perfect. Um, the fun part of my week, doctor's appointment with the OB. Um, things went okay at first. I got a little irritated at the end. And then as I came home and kind of stewed over, it got even more irritated. So um, I went in, you know, did the normal stuff. I did the urine test, did my weight. I actually lost two pounds from last week, so that was made me a little happy. Um, I had a different nurse this time. So um, the blood pressure, my blood pressure was more normal than it usually is. It was actually low this time. It was 112 over 66 or something like that. That, that was, which is low because mine's normally like 120 over 70. And I can't imagine that it was that low, but... Um, so he comes in and we waited forever for him this time. So that was irritating to boot. Um, but he comes in, we talk about my blood sugars. He asked me what they are fasting. And I told him that they were like 115 to 120. After eating like 140 ish, he said, not good enough. They need to be under a hundred fasting and they should be no higher than 130 after you eat. He goes, maybe it's time we start talking about insulin. I whatever I let him ramble because I mentioned to you guys last time that my doctor my primary who's the person that's controlling the diabetes um, said that unless I'm close to or over 200 that we're not going to worry about insulin because it's dangerous um, and at that point you can worry 
that the blood that your blood glucose is going too low at that point which can also be very very dangerous for the baby and I'm not going to do it um, talking about that with him he then gets into you know our main concern is that the baby's going to be too big and I say I understand that however when we had the ultrasound he was right on target he was at 57 you know the 57th percentile which is almost smack dab right in the middle and um, he said well he goes that's a little on the high side no and uh, my husband says well wait a second because you know the good thing about my husband the difference between us is I'll just sit there and let him ramble and I won't tell him my husband will, will argue with him and my husband says well wait a minute you know when the ultrasound tech was doing it she said he was that he looked absolutely fine that he was absolutely perfect that there were no you know signs of anything or you know he goes well I'd agree with that well it's one or the other he's either absolutely perfect <coughs> or he's got a problem um I just feel like he kind of, because I feel like at this point he's kind of ticked off that, that uh, I won't go see an endocrinologist and he wants there to be a problem almost. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit too. Because the next thing that he talked about is a non-stress test, which I didn't realize was not just a routine test. Um, so, you know, he did the normal things, um, you know, heard the baby's heartbeat, all that stuff, and um, which it was perfect, it always is perfect. And we went in to do the non-stress test. They have you sit in like this recliner thing. And, um, you know, they, they hook up two uh, belts. The one has a thing to tell if you're having any contractions. And the other one has a thing uh, for the baby's heartbeat. And the nurse that I don't like that can never, ever take my blood pressure right was in there. And she was hooking it up and she was saying, um, you know, what we really want to see is that there's lots of peaks and things like that. <clears throat> And she said, you know, if for some reason there's not, we have this thing that, um, like this, um, like a razor almost that we'll put where the baby is, and it, it like vibrates, so, you know, wake them up a little bit. Um, so we did that. We, I laid there and it was fine. I didn't need that. He was moving around just fine. Um, and he, uh. So we sat there for 20 minutes, and they also give you a clicker. You have to click every time you feel a, a kick or movement. Um, and he was moving all over the place, so, you know, it was fine. Um, so we get all the way done with it, and the other nurse comes in, the one that I like. And she says, you know, um, basically what we're looking for is that when he's kicking, his heart rate's elevating a little bit, uh, because that's what it's supposed to do. And so she looks at, you know, it prints it out on this tape thing, and she says, this is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we want to see. You have the peaks where he's click, where he's kicking, and that's, it, the ranges for his heartbeat were like 140 to 150s. And um, she said anything between 120 and 180 is normal. She says, so this is just absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we want. So um, she did that, and she goes, well, I'm going to go show it to him. I don't know if he's going to want to talk to you or what the deal is going to be. And my husband asked her, so, uh, you know, was this something that we're going to do again? Or, you know, what's the deal here? Not really, and I didn't realize at this point that it was not a routine test. Um, but while she was in talking to him, on the wall there was a pamphlet about the non-stress test. And it talks about how doctors order these because of low movement, because of low heart rate, because of high blood pressure, all these problem things, you know, that can cause serious problems. And of course, one of them is gestational diabetes, whatever. And I can kind of see that he's doing this because he wants to just make sure, and I get that, okay? But then, like, she comes in and she's like, he wants another one next week. Why? <laughs> it was absolutely perfect. Her words, absolutely perfect. Um, I've had no complications, no problems. Why do that? I mean, this is just another example of him doing something that is totally unnecessary, in my opinion. So, um, I go in this week, tomorrow actually, on Tuesday, I go for the non-stress test, I have an ultrasound, and then I meet with him. And I think we're going to go head-to-head -head again, because I'm not doing another non-stress test. I'll do it tomorrow, and that if it's absolutely perfect in her words, I'm not doing another one. It's, uh, to me, a huge waste of money. I'm sure that it's not cheap when they bill the insurance. I'm kind of curious as to how much it is. And I'm just not going to do it. I think that, again, I feel like he's, he's getting a result that's absolutely perfect, and he's not happy with it. It's like he's trying to find something wrong. He's, it's like he's insisting that there must be something wrong. So, um, I, you know, I'm sure you guys can tell I'm really not happy with him. 
And um, it even went to the point where I got online and looked at the on-call schedule. And I swear to God, if I go into labor on a day where he is there, I will sit here with my legs crossed before I go to the hospital because I really hope he's not the one delivering the baby because I'm just scared to death that the tiniest little, I mean, I'm scared that Nate's heart rate will elevate by like one point and he's going to demand a C-section or something. I mean, that's where I'm at at this point. And it's just not a fun place to be. <laughs> Um, I really can't wait to talk to my primary physician this week about the um, insulin because I know that he's going to think it's absolutely absurd. And I know that he said my last um, appointment that the risks outweighed the benefits. So I'm not doing something even riskier than what I have. I mean, like, you know. <laughs> um, sorry, I know this is a long one. The other thing, so that's it with my doctor's. The other thing we did this last week is we went to a breastfeeding class, which I thought would be hugely beneficial and was not. Um, not because, like, it's important to breastfeed and all that, but I just thought, like, it would be more how-to, more hands-on. It was really, like, a why you should breastfeed, which I, you know, pretty much already know, uh, you know, the benefits associated with breastfeeding and, you know, sticking with it. And she did not want to focus on any of the negative things. Which, to me, that's what I want to know more about. I want to know more about when I come into problems, how I overcome those problems. And she did not focus on any of that. Um, you know, she basically said your nipples should not be sore. They should not get raw. But they do. I mean, people say they do. You know, so let's talk about that. Um, I know it was $10, so it's not like it was a, you know, we paid a huge amount of money to do it. So, whatever. I didn't really learn anything. But um, that was that, and I have two doctor's appointments this week, so my week should be pretty good. I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.